Yep. I'm going to try to explain um, one of my projects here. This consists, uh, this is what I call a pattern. Uh, I just uh, figure out how many stitches per unit and I put it on a thing. So this is moss. I have several panels of moss and the moss stitch is two rows of knit one, purl one. So you do two rows of the knitting and purling and then the next, the, the third row you switch it out. This is like I would call a braid. It's a cable. It's just a six stitch, um, two little things of braid. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, uh, my daughter, Alice, called this the um, uh, pretzel twist because to her it looked like a pretzel. I know that there's another name for it, but I'm not sure what it is. Mm -hmm. It's just a three, the knit uh, of three cables and it has a, a six stitch, six row cable in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then this is a um, diamond, a twist diamond, is the what I call the braid. It consists of six knit stitches and I have two, each unit of the braid is two stitches, two knit stitches. Now you, you look at a braid and this one, this one I just did, so this I'm just going to leave, I'm going to just knit these two. And it's this turn for these two to go over that one. I mean I don't, it's just a, I just look at it, I that's all there is. Just two stitches. It's all knit. And it makes like a little braid. Okay. So every other time. So this time, this time I did it. This next time I'll 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 use this one and the middle will go over that one. If you can see it, the middle goes over that one, and then the middle goes over that one. And it just to make a little braid. They're just six stitches. Okay, this uh, next little element is kind of like a dividing unit. You know, I just use it to divide patterns sometimes. I call it a twist. It basically is just simply two knit stitches and you twist it and you do like a mini cable every row, every right side row. All the action is on the right side. That's why I use a moss stitch because it's, you knit the knit, purl the purl. But this is a, a mini, um, you just take one stitch behind and you knit the other one in front. It's just a mini cable and I call it a twist. Uh, instead of having two plain knit as a divider, I just twist it up to make it look uh, different. Okay? Now we're going to go to the next unit which is this pretzel, pretzel twist design that's on this pattern. It consists of three um, knit uh, purl at the, the the closest to the edge. It's three purl. There's three. This is a three knit uh, cable. This is four between here. This is a six knit cable that has six rows before you cableize it. Vice versa. Anyway, this is time to move it. I'm gonna just move one. I, I can't really see this. This is no good. Um, you take. To move these thick cables along, simply take one from the side and you knit the three off of here, knit, and you put it towards the front so you can see the cable on the top, and then you purl this one because this is inside the field, it's purl, okay, and you purl until you get to the next knit cable. And you take it, take the three knit stitches off, and you transfer another knit purl one over here, and you continue on like this. Well, this these two will meet in the middle, and then the next row we will twist it up. Okay, you just continue on. You take this one off of here. You see how they meet up in the middle. And the next row, you simply uh, do a cable in the middle of this design. Okay? Straight. The twist, what I call a twist diamond that's filled with a moss in the middle. It, the closest edge is three, um, the three pearls. The farthest from the middle is nine stitches. 
and there's four knit stitches in here and each one of these twisty cables is two knit stitches and then of course I have the moss in the middle. I'm going to purl over until I get to my knit um, diamond edge and I hope that's a purl. It is. Okay. I take the edge. I have my double pointed needle. I take the first two off. That's my edge. I purl this off because this whole field over here is always purl. I, I slip one off so I can create the twist and I knit it off first. Then I knit the other one off. The one that was in behind and that creates that little twisting over the top. Now this is a moss field. I have done two rows of purl and now I'm going to, this is going to be a knit and this will be a purl. And I chose the moss stitch so that when I do the right side is when I make the changes, the table work and the moss changes. The back side of the work, if it's a knit stitch, you knit it. If it's a purl stitch, you purl it. You don't have to worry about doing any cable work. You just try to make sure it's a knit that's a knit and a purl to purl. That's why I like the moss. Now we're at the other side of the twist diamond. This one is going to, one purl, one uh, point of needle, I take one off. And this is the one that's moving it from the inside to the outside. I take another uh, double pointed and I'm going to twist it by putting it in the front. I knit this one off. This is still my border. I knit the other one off. And the one that's been left behind here, it's going to be a purl. And that's what creates the movement of the... Because um, I moved it. I moved it from the middle to the outside. Okay? Thank you.